How does solar work in Canada? The most important concept homeowners need to understand is called net metering. So utility providers actually install a bi-directional meter that instead of just showing the clock going up every time you consume power, it can actually go down when you sell power back to the grid. So think about it this way. When you are using power, the meter is going up in kilowatt hours consumption. If your solar power system is producing enough power that you don't need to use all of it, well, now you can sell some of that back to the grid and see the meter going down in kilowatt hours production. This was a great illustration. In reality, you won't actually see the meter going down. A bi-directional meter for micro generators in Alberta is an interconnected device where the metering gadget shows the total amount of electricity that has both been exported or imported from the grid during a specific time period. So that is the concept of net metering. So very important to understand, you don't need to produce enough solar power at any given moment in order to not have a utility bill. The concept works in a certain way. In Canada, because we have six months of lots of sun and long days, it's usually the case that our solar system is going to produce majority of the power during these six months. A common question asks, well, what happens in the winter? So I like to look at it as a net zero annual billing. Think about six months where you don't have a power bill and you're actually making money because you're producing more than you're consuming. Let's just say that at the end of the summer, your energy bill ended up with a positive $1,000 credit on it. Well, now what happens in the winter, you're going to have a utility bill because your solar system is not producing as much. However, you just finished earning credits in the summer that can now be used toward your winter bills. The goal is over 12 months period to have $0 spent toward utilities. Hopefully that makes sense.